Being experts on Trader Workstation is important at Mavic Currencies. All Mavic traders use the Trader Workstation to place Forex and crypto trades for the last 12 plus years. Our traders seem to be perfect on the platform as they trade our capital and keep 70 to 80% of their profits they generate. We are happy to release some of our Trader Workstation training to the public as TWS can be intimidating software. If you're ready to become a professional Forex and crypto trader, click on the application link in the description below. Now on to our Trader Workstation tutorial. In this video lesson, we'll be going through how to customize your Trader Workstation chart. So let's get started. Let's maximize our chart screen here by double clicking on the window. Uh, first thing, you, there's a couple of ways to do this. Uh, first thing, on the top right corner, you have the setting option. Click on that, click settings. And this is where you can check and uncheck a lot of different options. So really, depending on your user preference, you can spend some time here and uh, really customize it to your liking. Just realize that every little aspect of this screen or your chart can be customized, including your chart colors. You know, I know every trader have a different uh, sort of a preference. I want a lighter background versus a darker background. This is where you can go and customize all sorts of things. You can also right click on the chart and click chart parameters. This is a screen where you can customize a lot of different things on the chart, including static secondary indicators. So right here, you can see I have a lot of different options in this area. I want to see or not see, you can check and uncheck those options here. So you can also look at studies and if you want to add studies to your chart over here, you can do it all at once. So you notice that I have some studies over here and if I'm looking for something different, I can look, I can just go into the, the, uh, the search over here, click on this and click add to it. As soon as I click OK, notice that the chart will then update with my second indicators. So again, right click on the chart, shop parameters, and this is where you can spend a, uh, a good amount of time and uh, kind of select the settings that you really want. Once you are finished with the settings, I always recommend saving a copy of your settings so you don't have to go through the process again. So in order to do that, click on File and click on Save Chart Template As. And let's just name this as um, ABC and click OK. So in that case, if you really uh, you know want to apply the settings on all the charts or Let's say if the chart settings don't pull up, you can quickly go on file. You can uh, click on open chart template and you can look, really look into this uh, option here and see ABC right here. I can click on load and right there. Notice that there was another option where you can set default templates as well. So right now uh, I have another uh, default template, but I can uncheck and check this one. So what's going to happen is that every time I pull up a chart, this setting will show up. So take some time. Uh, customize your liking, you have to do it once, and after that it will be smooth sailing. Thanks for watching.